Hello there, Mrs. Johnson. Hello. Uh, my name is Dr. Mishra, I'm the psychiatrist that work here in the outpatient department. Right. Uh, I've got a little bit of information about uh, your son, William. Yes. I understand that you've had some concerns about yeah, I'm him. I'm very, very worried about him and worried okay. about the fact that he's had to be referred to you, really. Sure, no, I, no, I appreciate that. I mean, one of the things that um, uh, can help us is, uh, is if I just if I could just ask a few questions, really just about his, his development, if that's mm -hmm. okay. So just from okay. what he was like from when you first gave birth to him to, to what he's like up to the to the present day yeah so um so when you first um gave birth to to, mm -hmm. to william were there any complications no with? no it was quite straightforward pregnancy quite straight, birth, okay. yeah. so, so he wasn't admitted to a special care baby oh, no, no. A, nothing like that no. okay and then um do you have any other children yes brad he's eight okay he's okay younger. and um and how did um when when william was developing how did he compare to to brad um, well, I noticed that you know Brad did everything at the right sort of times, so and mm. William was was had been much slower at certain things. Um, okay. He was um, his speech was fine, but okay. he was very slow to walk. Um, right. He didn't walk till he was about twenty months. And okay. He was very, very clumsy as clumsy. a little, little boy. Yeah. Okay. So so you found that um, so as he developed, so his his speech was that developed normally. Yeah. Uh, but you're just finding that that just found that sort of the. Becoming more com becoming more clumsy with things, that's basically. right yeah okay and then yeah. just in just and um, um, just in terms of when he what age he first smiles that, that kind of yeah that, that was all fairly that, that normal okay. I think yes okay yeah okay um, and uh, but uh, so his language was okay but the mm. as I said the, the, the kind of physical stuff yeah, yeah. okay uh, and then just generally in terms of when he was playing at home did you did you notice any anything um, anything about that at all. Um, um, he he used to like to sort of play with the same things all the time. Okay. Um, and he wasn't he didn't do much sort of imaginative play, which I only really noticed when I Brad see. came along. Um, oh, I and, see. and William had, was so different. Yeah. Okay. Um, so wasn't able. Yeah, wasn't able to, to use his, his imagination. And were, were there were there any particular kinds of toys that William liked to? Oh, he he would go through f real phases of having fads on particular things. I mean, right. it was dinosaurs for quite a long time. Okay. Um, uh, okay. It's been maps for the last couple of years. Okay. Okay. Um, and and then when he was at, when he was at primary school, I mean, did the teachers comment on on things that they'd noticed in those? They they no, did. I mean, they were very fond of him, mm. but um, they did notice he was really a loner. Um, okay. He didn't really make any friends. Never had friends home for tea or anything like that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, and 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 then how does um, how does William cope with with routines and? He... he loves routine. Okay. And then if there's a it, if yeah there's a change. To... <laughs> no. Any any change, it, we have to plan it really carefully and go really gently. He okay. hates change. Okay. And then how does he react when if there, if there is a change? He gets very upset and very distressed, um, and he'll do these sort of repetitive movements. He'll just keep touching his okay. face like this, and he does this sort of thing with his arms where right. he'll keep moving his right. arms. He's right. very okay. upset. Yeah, sure. So that no, that can push those can quite yeah, quite Yeah, it is quite worrying. Yeah. yeah. I mean, when when um when you get upset, mm. does how does he respond to that? I don't think he notices, to be honest. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I mean, and then in, in the way that he communicates to you, mm. either generally or when you are upset, is he, how, how would you describe that? He, he speaks in a really sort of monotonous sort of voice, um, so he, do, he isn't able to sort of change his voice depending on the si situation at all. Yeah. I see, okay. And then, um, and then since he moved to, to secondary school... Um, what was that like for oh, That's been really difficult. I mean, it's a massive change, but also, you know, loads more children. Um, and I think because of that, you know, he's being singled out um, as being rather odd. Um, mm. And he's being bullied. He's had a terrible time. OK, so no, I appreciate that that must be distressing. It's both really for, upsetting. Both for yeah. him and, and you, OK. And, um, just, just some of the questions just about his 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 behaviour um, recently. I mean, and if the teachers have commented on this, I mean, mm. have they ever commented that he's found it difficult to to sit still in class? Is no, it, I don't think been, so. No, he's, been, he's yeah. Fidget, sort of fidgety at home or no, no. difficult like that. Okay, and then does he ever sort of make um, decisions on the spur of the moment without oh, gosh, thinking? Gosh, no, William it? never makes a spur of the moment no. decision. No, everything okay. is very carefully planned and thought out. Okay. Um, and then just in terms of the teachers that have commented that his ability to main, maintain attention in class. Those kinds no, of that's good, actually. His concept, okay. I mean, he can sit and 
deal with maps for hours oh, and hours on end. So well, yeah, okay. his concentration is, is okay. good. Yeah. Okay. And then just in terms of his, his general academic performance at the moment? Um, he's sort of average. He gets sort of C's and D's. That's okay. Sort of, yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, and uh, does he have any other any other medical problems at all? No. Okay. No. So does he have a, um, uh, any sort of history of epilepsy at all? Oh no, nothing like okay. that. Okay. Um, and has he ever had a has he had a hearing test? Yeah, his yeah. hearing's fine. Hearing's yes. fine, and, and yes. had, a, had checked has his eyesight checked as well. Yes. That's yeah, all. That's, that's all, all okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. And um, and. Uh, I appreciate, obviously, um, you know, being referred to the, the child and adolescent services is, is obviously distressing. Yeah, and, is, um, yeah. and uh, but has, just to just to clarify, has he ever seen a, a psychiatrist for, oh, for no, anything else? No, okay. no. And has, he, has he, his mood generally? How would you? Um, I think he, it's okay generally, but okay. he has been quite upset by this this bullying that started since he changed yeah, schools. Yeah, 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 sure. But is he is he still? Um, showing an interest in, in yeah, it, you know. and when he gets home, you know, and he yeah. goes straight and plays with his maps and stuff, he's fine. Yeah. Okay, um, has he ever ever expressed any? That's not a nice question to ask, but has he ever expressed any ideas to want to to end his life? Or oh like no, that? nothing like that. Okay, has there, no. have there ever been any other behaviours that you've noticed where he's maybe talking to himself when there's no one else around or anything no, like that? Okay. No, no. And is there any history in the family of of? Um, any illnesses at all to your knowledge? No. Any mental health? Any mental health illnesses in um, no. on, on on your husband's side at all? Or? Not not illnesses as such. Um, but my husband is um, he's quite a loner himself actually, and and he he never shows much emotion. William's quite like him in that respect. Um, okay. I mean, he's an HGV driver, and I know he loves nothing better than just being in his cab by himself. Okay. So. Okay, Mrs. Johnson, that's very useful information. Thank you very much for speaking to me.